What's up guys, it's Travis. I'm excited to give you a tour of my 1500 square foot workshop. No, wait, that's not right. I'm excited to give you a tour of the third stall in my garage, which is also my workshop. Let's go. The first thing you're gonna notice is that most of my garage is filled with vehicles, lawn equipment, and kids' toys. There is one exception to this chaos, and it's this general purpose workbench that I have over here. I usually use this for fixing kids' toys. It also has one kind of cool feature, let me show you. Motion sensing under cabinet lighting. So that brings us to the third stall of my garage. It doesn't look much like a workshop right now, but it will very soon. Cue time lapse. We're all set up now and we're ready for the tour, except before we get started, I have one fun fact for you. Sometimes I work in flip-flops. If it's wrong, I don't want to be right. First, we're going to start over here, where I have my air compressor, which I use for compressing air and powering some of my tools. I also have some random wood storage over here. Over here, you'll see my crosscut sled and my box joint jig. By the way, I made videos on those, as well as most of the things you're gonna see in this video. If we look up, you're gonna see my wood storage. Moving on, the wall of safety. Also more wood storage, and a little bit more wood storage. Over here is the wall of not enough clamps, and also paper towel holder. Over here I got my Japanese pole saw thingy and my dove joint saw, which I have not used yet. Here's my newest addition, the DeWalt DW735 thickness planer, which I use for making boards flat. Go figure. One of the most underwhelming, but also most important things in my workshop is my workbench. It actually folds down so I can still pull my car in when I'm all done. No shop is complete without a shop sign. Welcome to the wall of rigid, but also my glue and pencil sharpener. You remember how I mentioned my air compressor? That's pretty much all I use it for. Amazon sawhorses. Random storage. This is where all the magic happens. And by that I mean ripping and cross cutting pieces of wood. To keep workshop dust at bay, I have the DeWalt dust extractor. And also the WEN air filtration system, which is the exact air filtration system that everybody has. Last but not least, I have my cobalt miter saw. I may not use it quite as much anymore with my crosscut sled and my table saw, but it used to be one of the most important tools I had in my entire workshop. Well, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Don't feel limited by the size of your workshop. Do what you can with what you have and make cool stuff. Now you guys understand what I'm working with. So please like, subscribe, and comment to give me a reason to get a bigger workshop someday.